Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you what you can do in case your laptop is not connecting to the wireless connection. Whatever you do, you cannot connect your laptop to the wireless connection. Of course, that would be a temporary solution where you go to start settings and then go down to update and security and then go to troubleshoot and additional troubleshooters and you run a internet connection troubleshooter. In some cases, this temporarily fixes the problem and you can easily connect to the wireless connection. But of course, this is only a temporary solution. So we don't want that. We want to fix the problem permanently. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So assuming that you already ran the troubleshooter, I'm not going to show you again how you can do that because I showed you really quickly at the beginning of the video, but, but I strongly recommend you to do that and see if that is only a temporary fix or if that is a fix at all. Now, what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to make sure that we have the latest network adapter driver. So for that, we're going to have to click on the search box and type in here device and then click on device manager. Device manager will show up all the drivers for all the components that you have on your computer. Here you have to locate network adapters, right click on your connection, update driver, click on search automatically for drivers. And this will scan the computer for best drivers that you can have. In my case, the best drivers for the device are already installed, but you can select also the option search for update drivers on windows update if you click on that windows will automatically search for updates and of course if any driver is better than the one that you have already you will be notified and a pop-up will appear and you will be able to easily install that update now if the problem appears after a windows update or after an updated driver you can easily roll back the drivers go again to network adapters right click on your connection and then go and click on properties select the driver tab and here you'll have this button roll back driver this button is not available in my case because i don't have the driver that was previously installed but if the problem appeared on your computer after you install the driver, you will be able to click that button to roll back to the previous driver that worked for you. And that is very simple, just click on the button if you are in this situation. Another thing that you can do, you can right click on your connection and then click on uninstall device. Your connection will be temporarily stopped, you won't have any connection available. But now you can go to the action menu from device manager and then click on scan for hardware changes. And as you'll see in a few seconds, our connection will be resetted and now we are connected again to the internet. The last thing that you can try, just go to start settings, go down a bit where it says update and security and make sure you check for updates and install all your updates that are available. Windows updates should be able to fix a lot of issues, a lot of errors that come up on your Windows operating system. So it is very, very recommended to install all the updates that are available on your operating system. I'm hoping this video helped you and you managed to fix your internet connection problem. If it was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below of this video and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased, until next time, have a nice day.